and we're out the door. And they're learning the new routine. We're now Thursday, so that's four nights. And all we've got to do is stop them eating doo doos. The bear needed the number two, so I think she just went straight there. Magpies are out in the field. Chance, leave. Good boy. This one down. Oh, still doing. Jeez. Oh, Electricity's not on, don't worry. He's about stepping on it. There he is. There he is. Good boy. Hey, you're a good boy. Good girl. Not too far, please. This is just our quick toilet area. And mum can feed the horses. Now, I've got the fencing today, so I'll show you that. I'll show you what we've got to deal with. As I said, that'll do 100 metres. Uh, I think it's 67. I'm going to pull the paperwork up my notebook. I've got the measurements written down. But I will re-measure when I start because I'm... Um, uh, working with, uh, I've got to do another box in, so I, I will need to do that. Right, oh, sorry, Nevaeh's going again. She didn't quite finish the other one. Right, she'll go a couple more times yet. And Chancey's been very good. The so things are drying up a bit in this paddock, and we will get it harrowed on Sunday. Got so much to do. Chance, leave. Good boy. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. I'm not even asking for a sit now. Now the bear's when She really came out to empty herself. Oh, oh, he's just wet all over her. Oh my goodness, she's covered in pee. Yeah, don't come near mum. That'll dry off. Chance, that was so naughty. Oh my goodness. He didn't even give her time to finish. He weed all over you, didn't he? I've not seen that before. Unless you saw it. I can see a brick. I put healing balm on it today after I cleaned it, so we'll give it another clean up. Come on, Chance. You've weed all over Nevaeh. I'm going to have to bath her. Poor little bugger. I will bath you, Vaya. Your little. Hey. Chance is sitting on the couch now next to me, and he's trying to make me pat him, which Mummy does. It's got that red spot. Oh, here he goes. So, you go get me. Let me pat you. It's been naughty. And he went off and he wouldn't listen when I called him, and now it's his mum pat me. And he's just asking for pats. I want to get on your knee, mum. No, you're too big to be on mum's knee. Oh, mum. Yeah, well, you went very nice to Nevaeh. He weed on her. She was having a tinkle, and then he decided to tinkle on top of her and not wait. So she got a bit covered in tinkle. Poor little Nevaeh, hey? Eh? Poor little Nevaeh. That was very mean. Yes, you're a naughty boy. But you're still mummy's boy. Okay, we're out. Then we're running. And we'll get through the horses. There's fencing stuff there. I'll come back hopefully in a minute and show you. Oh, my dogs are going that way. They want to investigate it. So, I have a box of goodies, which is the gripples. Chancey's a bit scared. That's your stiff stay wire, darling. Um, it's 50 mil. It's, oh, he says, I didn't see that the other day. Look at him. He's a little bit frightened. And that's the mesh um, strainer. That's on my stiff straight. So it's 100 mil by 50 mil, so little Freddie can't get out. They are 60 kilo rolls of stay stiff. That's okay. I can handle that. Uh, 50 meter. Chance, come on. And I just asked them to put it behind the shed. Chance. Now. We have been trying this new routine all week. Come on, Vay. You're sitting too, Bubba. And all I'm getting is eating a horsey doo doo. So the minute they start and they won't listen, well, it's not them, it's Chance. Um, or he won't come back when called. And the little hackles are up because she was worried about it. The steel. <laughs> I just put them back on lead and bring them home. Um, 
we can't keep going like this uh they need their walks but they they're getting more shorter ones so they must listen um Chancey tried to go and shoot the other neighbour's dogs. That's not a wise idea. Uh, there's some there's a, some sort of Brazilian breed over there that uh, is quite a large dog. And they're not very nice dogs. I hear them fighting all the time. I don't want Chancey near that. I really don't. Um, so he needs to learn to stay here. He's off again. Chance. Right, he gets one more shot. Chance! Right, that's it, we're back inside. Chance! Now. Now you must come quicker than that, mate. I cannot risk that something go wrong. Come on. Don't get rewarded for it. You just get told off for it. We need the walk. Chance, now. Good boy. That's good. That's good. Okay, I'll give you a treat for that one because that was pretty good. But you shouldn't be eating it in the first place. Come on. Kikes. Baya, don't go in there, please. Behave yourselves. They just need to stretch their legs. They haven't had a good stretch for ages. Um, it's after five because I've fed up. Um, chances. What? Oh, Mum, I'm gonna come back. That was a bit scary. Was that a bit scary for you, darling? No, it's treat time, Mum. Okay, there's your treat. Did you want a treat, baby? Ah, what a good girl! Let's have a treat for that. There you go. You wanna go for a bit of a walk? The neighbours. Can you hear the dogs? I don't know whose dogs those are. But obviously they're getting fed. Goodness me, people have got some dogs out here. Um, as I said, we're in a kennel zone, so there's lots of types of kennels. Mostly down the back is greyhounds. Um, fella up the road breeds little small breed dogs. Um, Nabea's in the grass here. It's just taken me ages to spot it. Baya! I knew she hadn't gone too far. Uh-uh, Come on, let's go. So, um, obviously they're getting feed. I, I need to get these two some feed. She's stepping the wind now too. Chance, this way, mate. Good boy, much better. Hey. Oh, treat mum, because she called. I feel nearly out of treats, guys. Because... I didn't put any more in my pocket. And how about a dozen? <laughs> Tanty says, had to jump, nearly landed on her. <laughs> it's a much happier walk, guys. The horses are eating, Edgy's already finished. He doesn't get anywhere near the size meal that the other oldies get. Edgy just gets one to pacify him. Um, I don't feed him hay because he can choke, and Hudson can't go near hay. So. Off and racing, dogs are disappeared. Where did you go? I've got to keep up after Chancey's little episode the other night. Don't pee on the fencing, Chance. Please don't tickle on that. Right, he's going to tickle there. Good boy. Good boy. So, this is all our fencing. Looks good, eh? That'll get us a start. We'll be right. Chance, come on out of there. Good boy. Come on, wee one. Oh, he says the glass is good for you, Yes, I know. Mum's got to unload the car and get the horses fed. It's quite windy. I want to get it done sooner rather than later. We're in a good jacket, so I'm not that cold. It's my winter work jacket. Fleecy black one. It's got really big fleece inside so it, the wind doesn't get through it. Yep. 
just want to eat grass, that's cool. We can do the rest of those up there. That's a deal breaker. It's not really showing through there, doesn't it? I don't see it with my naked eye, but it picks it up on the camera. Step into the light, Chansey. Step into the light. Chancy boy. Oh, she's, no, I've got a tinkle, Mum. Chance, this way. Not listening. Come on, Mum's got dog leads. If we can't listen, we can't stay up. Come on, mate. Let's go. Okay, Mum. I'm off. Where did that one go? Bye, bye. Oh, you're behind me. There. There a good girl. Come on, Chance, this way. You need to go tinkles. You've done that. Now you need to do number twos. You right there, Vevey? Yep, I'm going, Mum. Good girl. Let's see if Chancey will get going. There's rubbish blowing in from the neighbours because of the strong winds. 47 kilometres today at work. Hmm, that was pretty great. Another tinkle. That's okay. Not in there yet. Horses aren't locked up yet. Chance. Good boy. That's what we like to see. Good. Thank you. Good girl, Vave. Your name's Chance now. Good eye. This is. I'm going to play here, Mum. There's good things to see. What are you doing, Bubba? Hey, darling. Where's that brother of yours? Chance! I saw that! You're after that lizard! Oh, you're a cheeky boy! You know it's there, don't you? Just leave him be. He's a, he's a skink. He's quite a big one, but he's just still a skink. That was my thumb, Chancey. I felt that. Shouldn't have done, but I did. Good dog. Well, I didn't say a name. I just said you couldn't go that way. Come on. Let's go. Oh, landed right on top of you. You two are silly puppies. We're just cruising around the yard, kids. Don't get too excited. So many things to do. Man. Oh, well. Fencing on Saturday. We'll get as far as I can this Saturday. I need to get up early Sunday morning. And I can do it in the car, so I will be spraying out here. Drive the car around. These weeds are just getting out of control. I just need to spray them down. I'll get in the round yard, do the same, and I'll do a bit where the grey water is. I need four or five tanks to do the whole paddock. I don't know whether I have time. I should do. Ah, uh, because I can just get the washing going. I'm going to start washing tonight so that I can get a bit done. Come home. My back's, well, my hip, that's my sacroiliac's quite good today. I did get Sharon, um, my little assistant at work, to put some pressure on it yesterday, and it came good really well. So, um, meant to get her today, but she was only there for three hours today. So, um, I did it myself, and it seems a lot better. So, now I know where to put the pressure to move. The, it, it's just releasing the muscle is pulling which causes the bone on bone effect and the bit of pain. So I just need to release the muscle and I'm running right all day. And as long as I'm walking around, it's getting better and better and better. It's when I sit down for too long that it aggravates me. So I'll be right fencing. Should be good as gold. Chancey's doing his number two, he's just watching him because he's now looking over the side again. Bayer should go again. The fence isn't on, so I've just grabbed it like that, and I'm just going to lift it over me. See a minute. Chance! Pieces on, oh, I'm sniffing. She's sniffing too. I don't think they're eating any doo -doos. It's really starting to dry up, so I need to hurry. Um, 
I've got to empty the car. Did you come for a treat? Did you need trail mix treat? Okay. Uh, I can't even see what the time is. Um, so, I could possibly harrow it tonight, but I need to get the horses fed. These guys run, and then it'll be dark by then, by the time I get the chores done. So, um, mm, may not happen tonight, may happen tomorrow afternoon. Throw the dogs in the car and take for a drive around the paddock for an hour. No, darling, no more. I had my hand. This is, what did you say? Do the paw trick for more treats, okay. See, that works. We'll teach you a new one. Sorry, Vaya, I dropped it right in the dried doo -doos. Okay, come on, let's go inside because you've done it all. And then mum can get started. Chance! Can't go that way. Good boy! You listened! You listened! Yeah, you got treats. Did you want another one, baby? Got a bit off it this morning. But, uh, we'll get some more. It just takes time and patience. Oh. Hello! Let's go inside and find a big tree. Yep, he says I'm in there. Maybe not. Gotta check over here for cane tags. Mum! Bye bye! Bye! She said I was behind the tank, Mum. Don't do it, Chance. You're not having the lizard. This may be Mum. Come on, Mum. Do you want a treat or what? You spin? You want to spin? No. Come on. He says, I don't know how to do that, Mum. Let's do that one. I'm excited. Here we go. Spinning. That's a good boy. You can have a treat for that. He's talking to something. Spin again. Come on. Spin again, Chancey. He says, I don't know how to spin him on. Oh. Adjust the lens. Right. There's Vaya. There's Chance. We're going to go and harrow that paddock. It's, um, I don't know, uh, five o'clock. I've got my sunnies on. It looks a bit dark. But my sunnies are reading glasses. So we're just going to drive around the paddock. Uh, we need to be in second gear. I guess that way the car just case. And we've got the harrow on the back, which I'll show you at the end. This is just the car driving itself. And we just do 101 circles until we smash up all the dogs. So we're just starting. It's a bit bumpy. All the dogs are just sitting there. We're riding in the car, Mum. Who's riding in the car with Mum? Oops, there's Doo Doo. There's hundreds of them. So we'll just smash a few up. It is still 50 kilometer hour winds, as you can see from the trees. Where that shed is, is where those dogs live. So hopefully nobody jumps out. I don't think they're outside at this time, do I? I really don't. So that's my internal boundary fence, that bit of tape there. You can see when they tried to fix the fence, they just threw all the wire on my side of the fence because that's what neighbors like. Uh, yeah, that one's got wire on it. They did fix that one a bit, but that one wasn't pushed. Now you'll also notice on this side of the paddock, I have some treadings with a thing of electric tape on them. I also have some cattle ray on the whole ground that I was using to fix the um, rail that broke. I was putting in cattle rail. I'm not gonna try and get up the side of that tree. I will cut that tree. Dogs are excited because we're driving. I'm not gonna go over the termite mounds. Uh, I've done that before. It doesn't work well with the car. Um, we've got a bit of she oak there taken off. I need to spray all that down. I do have crepe myrtles in there. Um, I put in probably 60. I've got 24 left. We'll see them as we come up. I can't get round. Here we go. There's the crepe myrtles. They're just wandering off. They're in the long grass. I need the um I need to get the mower and mow them down. We'll get around the round yard. Uh, I've got to avoid the grey water pipe where I've got to get out and move it. But we'll just see how long we've got daylight. You can see it's pretty wet there. Um, oops, hang on, buddy, don't fall on mum. We don't want to drag the grey water pipe out of the sump. Oh, there it is. Don't run over it, mum. I might have clipped the end of it. It doesn't matter. Yep, I clipped the end. It doesn't matter. You can hear the harrow on the back of the car. Down we go again. So this will take us about an hour and a half. But the kids get a car ride. Mum gets to clean up a bit. All right. Still swinging around the paddock. 
Um, it's now getting quite dark. I've actually got headlights on because I can't see the dark shadows and I'm trying to nail them off. So I don't want the dogs eating them. Um, so the neighbours think I'm weird. Yep. This is Chancey's still on the front seat there. The bay's sort of settled down in the back seat. There's not much to go, about another 20 minutes and I'll be done. And then I can go inside and start washing them. Which is crazy long doing the paddock. Arrows on the back. Oh, I've run over all the little saplings, I don't worry about them. They stand back up as soon as I've gone over them. I sort of know by memory and by car track where I am. It's sort of harder to see at night. Um, so this paddock will be right to go after this windy night. It's still blowing a gale. The trees are still moving. You might think I'm mad, but it doesn't worry me. It's only, um, it's only 5.30. So, um, it's still fairly early. I'm still going to go to bed at 7.30 because, um, I need to get up and do this fencing. And I am going to start at, um, pulling everything out at 6 because... The neighbours know I'm doing it, so it shouldn't worry them. Um, so I'll start organising a stick so, I mean, as soon as it's daylight, which is about 5.30. I'll start organising everything, get it going, so I can start just pumping a salmon. Whether they come out and give me a hand, I don't know, because I won't be putting up the mesh. I'll just be measuring out, putting up some posts, um, taking the caps off the star pickets, because we'll have to hook the mesh to the top of the star pickets. I don't know how many posts I'm going to use. If I went one every three, it would be nine. I don't really want to use nine posts. That's, what did that work out? $400 worth of steel. And I think, well, well if they're not going with it, then I'm not going to pay that much. Hang on, I've got to duck between these two little trees here and not hit one. Yep, easy done. Slow limb driving. Yep, done that many a time. It's another little sapper. A doo doo on the other side. Um, so we're nearly done. This is Faye's little jacket that I bought. It's a dog. I bought her a purple one. And she's got it on. I don't know whether she can walk in it, but she hasn't moved. Are you gonna move, Faye Faye? Yes, Chancey said, Yes, Yes, Mum. And we're about to go to bed, aren't we, Faye Faye? Okay. Well, she looked like the cutest little bear. It fits really well. It's a 60 centimetre one. Yep. Come, Chancey. 